Hey, I'm Piano Bruce, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to play any major or minor scale with these two simple sequences. What is a scale? In music, a scale is a set of musical notes ordered in a particular way to go from one note, such as C, through to the same note in the next octave. An octave spans eight notes. A scale is made up of what are called whole tones and semitones, so I'll show you what these are. The distance between one key and the next is called a semitone. This includes the black keys. So this is a semitone and this is a semitone. It's the smallest possible step you can play on the piano and is sometimes called the half note. Every scale is made up of these, so once you know this, you'll be able to grasp all the others. A whole note is equal to two semitones. So this note to this note is a whole note because we've moved two semitones. Now let's learn these scales. To put it simply, a major scale has a bright or happy sound and is a common scale used for most pop music. To play a major scale, all we have to do is start on a key of our choice. I'm choosing C. Then we want to ascend in this order. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. This works for every major scale on the piano. Example, from F, it would sound like this. And from G sharp, it would sound like this. A minor scale has a darker, sadder sound to it and is also a common scale used for a lot of pop music. To play a minor scale, start on a key of your choice, I'm choosing A, then ascend up the keys like so. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. With this, you can now play any minor scale on the piano. C minor is like this. And F sharp would be like this. Each minor scale plays the same pattern as one of the major scales. A minor is the same as C major because it uses the same pattern. It just starts on A instead of C. To find the minor scale relative to a major scale, start three semitones lower. Thanks for watching this tutorial and remember to keep practicing as you want to know the scales well enough so that you don't have to think about them when you play. If you like this video make sure you subscribe as I'll be making more videos like this every week and let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to learn next and what you thought about this video. See ya!